Hello. How you doing? Hello, is this Dazzle? Yeah, it's Dazzle. Yes, how you doing? I want to know if I can book a reading or if you have a before a reading. Yeah, I can book a reading. Yes, always. What's on your mind? Okay, so I think my baby father's speaking with the girl next door. What? And yes, because she always looking at me funny. She never really speak, but every time I with him, it's like she speak and be giggling, like doing this like a side eye thing. I think it's like a woman's intuition thing. He say I'm tripping, but I know I'm not. He don't do nothing for me, nothing for my kids. And the other day, I found like a Gucci receipt in his um, armrest. And just coincidentally, she had like some. I was gonna figure. Oh, hello, 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 everybody. It's your girl Dazzle That Tarot, and I'm back for another tarot reading. So please like comment and subscribe to my youtube channel and hit the notification bell so you can be notified when i upload and when i go live and if you would like to book a private reading all you have to do is go into the description box everything is down there okay so before i start everything i say here is all alleged and for entertainment purposes only and so modern science can come up with a mathematical equation that the metaphysical science is in fact a valid form of science and all tools of divination are in fact valid tools of science all right so we're here to talk about p diddy so for real for real and let me tell y'all I did. I remember I did like a live reading about P Diddy, and the first thing I said when them cars fell out is that he did whatever they said he did. Whatever he, whatever they said he did, he was doing. Okay, so we already good on that. Okay, we good on that. He was doing every single thing they said he was doing. Okay, <laughs> so with that being said, I'm gonna be using the Hunter House, right? Because you know they got them or whatever. The federalists didn't pick them up, okay? And ever since then, you know, it's going, it might be a good trial because, to be honest with you, like, his lawyers are very well paid. <laughs> so they're going to be windmilling and fighting and, and knocking if you bucking in the courtroom, okay, for P. Diddy, all right? So it's going to be a very interesting thing, right? They're already doing it already, right? So... I got to tell y'all the truth, though. I had already did, like, an eight-minute video, and it was so short because the babies was coming downstairs. I had to feed the babies, right? So, and I really wanted to do this video because I wanted to do it for days now, right? Because, and I wanted to upload more than just this video. So, so because I seen everything going on, I said, no, I got to do this reading. And I just been working a lot, y'all. I'm not gonna lie, I just been working a lot. It took me three days to fold clothes, okay? That I just been working, okay? And then getting them up, and then I'm up, and then you know, making sure they go to school and stuff. Like it's a lot on your girl, okay? What's the girl to do? And then when I get home, what I gotta do? Wash clothes, cook dinner, make sure they wash up, you know, make sure I wash up. Pull clothes out for the next day. A whole bunch of stuff. It is tiring. And clean up. Uh, uh. Look. But we here now. And apparently, obviously, like I said, the fella Roddy's and got P. Diddy. And they got him on Rico charges. And they have him on um trafficking charges, right? So, hmm. Let's see what's going on right now. And see, when I did the little eight-minute reading, all I got was money cards, money cards. Hiding the money. Where the money at? Where the mo you know, where the money reside. So I want to know what's going on. Let's see if I still get that energy right now because I can actually talk about it because the kids sleep. And, you know, I ain't that tired. So let's do it. We're going to be, like I said, we're going to be using the Hunter House. All right? By Sasha Graham. And Mirko Pierre uh, Derichi. <laughs> so that's it right here. So let's get into it. 
let's go, let's go. What is the energy surrounding Diddy right now? What's going on with Diddy? Diddy, 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 Diddy. One, two, three. Oh. You got the Ten of Wands. That's the first one that comes out. The Ten of Wands in the reverse, okay? The Sun card is upright. And the Two of Cups. And then you have the Seven of Pentacles. I mean, the Seven of Cups. Okay. So, the Ten of Wands is usually the, like, it's too much on my plate. I need help, right? I'm carrying a large burden, right? In the reverse, the Ten of Wands is talking about relieving a burden, right? Um, needing to release a burden. So, there's a lot of things that he's trying to do, right? So, you have the fact that, you know, he's trying to get his affairs in order, right? I told you, I, the last reading, like, that was like eight minutes. It was all about money, moving money, but poor planning about money, too, and money overseas and things like that. So I feel like it's that. It's about assets, you know, even like with his companies and all types of stuff like that. It's like releasing stuff, like doing this, doing that. I know that his lawyer, I know that um, he has to pay his lawyers, too. So I don't know if he's going to be putting some of his stuff up for sale or, you know, like property, I don't know, because I'm not, you know, following, following, but I really want to, like, do this reading, so I made sure I didn't listen to every little thing that's going on, so I feel like some properties and things like that might be getting put up for sale or collateral, whatever the fuck may be, right, because um, his properties are worth millions, right? So if he needs to pay for a lawyer instead of actually touching his money, he can just sell something, right? So you got that going on. You got the fact that releasing burdens, which means that he's probably snitching. I believe that. He's probably snitching. And then not only that, there's a woman on his card that's releasing this burden, right? So I also feel like there's a lot of women victims coming forward, right? Or that we don't know about yet. Or witnesses, victims or witnesses that's going to release information that's been burning them. Also, believe it or not, though, this card really looks like someone being burned at the stake, right? Like a witch trial, right? Um, you can be, let's, let's take it back. Back in the day, you was burned at the stake for being a heretic, you know, a witch and this and that, you know. So, some people were falsely, falsely accused and the people who were actually burning them at the stake were the actual witches, right? Were the actual evil people, you know. But I mean, sometimes. They get it right. Sometimes they were practicing witchcraft, right? So with me, when I'm feeling this energy, I feel like he is being burned at the stake. He is on trial, which is more so. The public has already deemed him guilty. And for the most part, this is going to be like a kangaroo trial right? You know those kangaroo trials, you know, when you go there and your fate is already sealed, they just plan with you at this point. I feel like it's that. And obviously the charges that are serious that will stick, they have evidence for, right? So the lawyers can argue as much as they want and they will make valid points here and there. But the truth is, his fate is already his fate, okay? He has been deemed guilty in the public eye, and he's going to be deemed guilty of something in the court of law, basically. So, at this point, it's just a extending game. And I don't think he's going to release burdens all at once. I think that he is going to release something here. 
Then after a while, something's there. Then after a while, something's there. You know what I'm saying? Like it won't be a vomit full of shit. He's not. He's not gonna just snitch on whatever. It's gonna be cho a slow trinkle. You know whatever. But they are gonna drain him of money. That will be happening. The drainage of money of funds will be happening. Yes, over a extended period of time, it won't stop. Can't stop, won't stop. Okay. Um, the sun is here. The sun shines light. So the Federalis has like a big ass flashy light searching for shit. You know, putting the light down on every motherfucker thing, right? That's 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 exactly what's going on. Zooming in on everything. They want to know where everything is. And I even got the sun card when I was talking about all this money too. They want to know where the money is. They want they want to know where the where, where it's going. Where what what type of accounts it's going to? What type of businesses you got going on? Who got what and who did what? I. But also this is a abundant energy right and again there's a woman on here right so i dare to say it because there are women all over this deck is only one male energy that's on the card right and it doesn't even have to be male right but i wonder if this is all like uh of course it's karma but i feel like on the spiritual level, this is giving the women that he mistreated abundance and, and a victory, right? Favoring them, right? So, yeah, that's some good energy right there. That's boom. Okay, so, and I seen this quote, right? Because I was on Instagram. And I'm saying all these things because I'm putting it in. Right, so this quote was like, What did it say? You're blinded by the sun, right? And you stare too close, you stare too, you stare too hard at the sun. I think that Diddy, in this case, and all the things that he did, I feel like that. I don't know if it was a Greek god or whatever, that he flew too close to the sun. Okay, that's what happened. All right. What else you got? You got the two of cups. This is partnerships. He's leaning on his the partnerships that he's made, his business. Like, like people he has fellowship with, right? He's leaning on, of course, his lawyer. That's a partnership. He's leaning, he wants to lean on those who, like, I don't know, like, millionaires like him, you know, elite people and stuff, to help him. So, I feel like he's going to get help from others, even though it might or might not work out, but he is going to get help from others. Um, the Seven of Cups is right here right now. It's so many things going on all at once. It's a... Is confusion okay? You got all these cups, right? You'll see everything that's going on, everything the shit show that's happening by him being taken in, right? You know, but like I said, he's being burned at the state. Shame, shame, like a heretic witch, okay? He's gonna go on trial. They're going to prolong it. His money's going to be drained. And at the end of the day, he's still going to jail. And they're not trying to let him out. Everything is indecisive right now. Like, so let's see something. Is he ever going to get out of jail doing the investigational trial. They locked him up. They, I know that they denied his bond twice. So, is P. Diddy, Sean Combs, going to be able to get out of jail? 
before trial. One, two, three. And just think about it. He got the monies and the means and the connections that, you know, he can get he can get out of jail and then you won't ever see him again. You know, so let's see. The five of swords is an empty victory. Okay. The eight of cups going away, leaving what does not serve you. He is um mm. so the five of swords, the magician in the reverse, and the king of swords. I feel like hmm. as of right now, it's empty victories and his verbal arguments, right? So you have his lawyer that's defending his client, right? And they're arguing verbal arguments in the court, okay? They're trying to get different angles, you know? They're trying to do as much as they could do. However, it's an empty victory. You're trying to win at all costs, right? So they may not let him out, right? You have the musician in the reverse. Like people, you know, say that's a trickster spirit, but also, yeah, it is. They're trying to trick the judge into letting them out. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it is, you know. They're trying to do as much as they can, say as much. I don't know what they saying, but they trying to pull a rabbit out the hat, girl. The musician is a magician. You know, they trying to pull a rabbit out the hat. They trying to motherfucker turn a balloon into into a dog. You know what I'm saying? They trying to make they trying to make a quarter disappear. They try, <laughs> they trying to you know what I'm saying I don't know magically cut something in half and you know and they still be alive and put them back together. You know the magician. You know the trickster. But you know it's also a manifester, not being able to manifest what you want to. So you're saying all these things and you're arguing and they're arguing and they're arguing, right? You got the King of Swords right here. Now the King of Swords, though. Now I won't lie, the King of Swords could be a judge that sides with you after looking at everything, right? And they're and they'll be fair, right? In the end, it's a fairness to it so but they're looking at everything first so he might there's a chance but it's up in the air it's up in the stuff you know who you never know so but it's feeling like if they argue the right way right because this king of swords is literally looking at a chess board if they argue and strategize the right way you know, these people are getting money, okay? These lawyers are not your run-of-the-mill ambulance chasers. They are real money-making lawyers, okay? And if their client is giving them, I don't know, millions, they out here being strategic, okay? This is a this is showtime at the Apollo. And we got to motherfucking pull a rabbit out the hat. We got to make a quarter disappear. We got to make a damn balloon turn into a fucking poodle. <laughs> you know, we got to do this. So, it's very, he ain't here, okay? This man is in, is in jail. And he's going to be there, okay? I ain't telling you he ain't going to beat it. He won't beat it. But it's a tricky situation. The chess pieces has to be moved in the right directions. They have to say certain things. They have to have things played out. They have to have things put out there to this judge that will that would seem on par and necessary for the judge to say, okay. But yet yeah, he's a flight risk. Because if he ain't going away to jail, guess who else he's going away to? He's gonna leave in the middle of the night. Okay, like a thief in the night. <laughs> he need to go to Bali and he can go to Bali somewhere out there. He should have been out there. 
when they was <laughs> but see it was too many eyes on him too, man. They was the media fucked it up. <laughs> Cause they was like, oh, he gonna leave, he gonna leave. But let's see. When they raided his home and stuff, and they was like, oh, he getting on the plane, he getting on the plane. Yeah, the media just it's just out there, right? So let's go ahead on and see. So what I'm getting so far is because I want to ask something else, but maybe I'll do it in another video. But you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna wrap this up and then do another video, right? So what I'm getting so far is shit look crazy, right? Assets being moved around, businesses being moved around. You got, you got, what I'm getting from this is that you got people coming forward, giving information. You got him about to snitch on people. You got this energy of feminine vengeance going on. You got the fact that he got friends that's going to help him or going to try to help him. Friends in high places that might try, you know. His lawyers, I don't know what they saying to these people, but what I'm getting from these cards is that these lawyers is not playing. They're going to they gonna bang for their client. <laughs> but the problem is, it's a kangaroo goddamn court. You know, you know he's going to jail. And his money is going to be drained. Yeah. That's what it's given. Right? So, but the lawyers, even though they're expensive and they will get their money, they often do their job. And they're sitting there and they're like, all right, look, I can't get them. Okay, we got to figure out a way. This won't work. Okay, this proposal won't work to get him out on bail. Okay, maybe this will. Okay, if that don't work, then this got to work. And while we're doing this, we need to figure out what to do over here and what to do over there. And then the business side, the financial side, we need to move this money this way, move it this way, try to do this, try to do that, flip this, reverse this, hide this. He was supposed to move his money overseas, and if he did, they're going to come looking for it. Mm-hmm. That's what I'm getting from that. Shit just, ooh. And there's a lot of females that got his ass. Because I just feel like the, the energy of feminine vengeance. That's what I'm calling it. Feminine vengeance. Okay? I don't know. But God decided to shine a light on the women. You know? And that's how things move forward. But... I got some more interesting stuff to ask. I'm going to ask the juicy stuff. So that was just a little energy type thing. But we're going to ask about his mammy. Because I seen a video of her on the IV with the white fingernail polish kissing him. And I want to know if she in the freak off. So that's what we're going to talk about. And then I'm going to talk about the fact that, look, you know, not everybody there was a victim. Not everybody. A lot of y'all was willing participants, and we're going to talk about that, too. So, all right, you guys, that's all I got right now. So, I'm going to end this, and then I'm going to come back and do some more readings on the diddy, 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 diddy stuff. Okay, but what a time to be alive, y'all. Peace.